Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Doing a little climate uh, check, and so, you know, for the month, here's a Norfolk kind of representative of Hampton Roads. We've had 3.43 inches, but that's 2.29 inches below the average. The month has been dry overall. We had a little rain early in the month, um, barely any rain last eight days. We're doing fine for the year because we had such a wet March, I believe it was, uh, it was just one of those months where we had flooding. Uh, well, you know, since then, things have kind of changed. We've been on and off of the rain. So now going forward, we can see about a quarter to a half inch of rain the next 24 hours. Uh, most of that today isolated to maybe a half inch to uh, three quarters of an inch of rain, but I don't think that's going to be too common. So a 50% chance of rain today, 30% chance in the evening, and then a slight chance on Saturday. During the day Sunday, 30% chance of rain, but a 60% chance by the evening. Now the temperatures, at least we're cooler today, 85 feeling like 88. That is, that is some relief compared to what we've had. 88 for the temperature Saturday, feeling like 95, and then Sunday's kind of hot. 90, feeling like 99, but we start really cooling it down Monday, 82 feeling 85. That's great, but it gets in the 70s going to the middle of next week. So here's our cool front that's on our doorstep. It's not dropping south. It's just kind of sitting there, in fact. And notice it's it's turning into a warm front, so that'll happen tomorrow. It'll go back to the north. Then that's the stronger cold front that'll affect us on Monday and bring us the bigger cool down uh, and the dry out, too, going into Tuesday. Look at that humidity drop. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and it'll keep dropping, I think, a little bit more going into Tuesday. So uh, eventually some fallish weather is coming back for at least a couple of days. So right now it's still warm and humid, but not as bad as yesterday. Uh, we don't have any rain in the Hampton Roads Metro, but there's some light showers, Capron and on the way to Wakefield and over towards Stony Creek in Western Surrey County. There's a little bit in there near Williamsburg, a couple spotty showers, a little bit around Gloucester Point. Most of this though is over Gloucester County. So now Gloucester Courthouse and Dutton, you're seeing the light rain that's moving into Matthews and then Saluda also. Uh, you've got some light rain, Kilmarnock, Reedville and also Exmoor, Parksley. You've had some thunderstorms here. Jinkatig, you're seeing a few of those, and uh, they're moving off to the east. So we'll get uh, some scattered showers this morning. This will break up, I think, a little more in the model shows. But you can see there's at least some rain in there during the uh, late morning, midday, and then we get a flare-up of some more in the afternoon. Some, some scattered showers and storms go, and then we get even more towards the uh, early evening. But after about 5 o'clock, I think these will settle to the south. So North Carolina, you might hold on to some of those storms a little longer, but I think the Hampton Roads area, the rain kind of chances trim off. Overnight, then we get maybe just a few showers and storms. Tomorrow, we're going to have partly cloudy skies, and we'll have just some isolated showers or storms. That front's going to lift north, so we'll be warm and a little bit humid, but there's not going to be much rain. Remember that other cold front, though? Well, it's going to be moving in on Sunday. Not so much during the day. It's uh, to our west or northwest during the day, but some storms flare up ahead of it. That's at 3 o'clock, but the front gets in here in the evening, and so those rain chances start going up big time. And, hey, maybe that's our best bet for getting some rain Sunday evening. Check back for updates. 84 today, Virginia Beach, 85 Norfolk, Portsmouth, but some upper 80s in Chesapeake, Elizabeth City, and Hertford, 85 Killable Hills, lots of clouds, some scattered showers and storms, but not a washout. 83 in Melfa and Hampton, there you go, 83 in Gloucester, 84 in Newport News, but 86 in Williamsburg. Beaches, there might be some beach time. It's not a great beach day, moderate risk for rip currents anyway, waves two to three feet. It's not for many tropical systems, but there's a couple out there for it with some potential. This one in the middle of the Atlantic's got a medium chance of formation as it works towards the Lesser Antilles. We'll bring you an update on that over the weekend. So tomorrow, isolated shower storm 88, 90 on Sunday, few showers and storms in the afternoon, a few, but a better shot in the evening, and then uh, quite a bit of rain Sunday night and Monday morning, but that Sunday or Monday afternoon rather, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think it's going to look and feel really nice.